What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, a Lions fan. Thanks for clicking on this video. Thought I'd throw a little bit of wrinkle in here and give you guys the Tigers video. I just got done watching the Marlins and the Tigers lose 5-4 to four in 11 innings. Uh, I thought the catch by the left fielder there uh, wasn't a catch in real time, but then as it slowed down, looked like he caught the ball, and then on the transfer is when he dropped it, and when they went to review it in New York, that's probably what they had ruled, <clears throat> that he that he lost it on the transfer and it wasn't out. Now I I don't necessarily agree with that. You have to catch the you have to catch the ball, make sure it transfers right into your hand, and then that should be an out, not just catching the ball and then that's it. Kind of the fast movement to try to get the runner out. I don't think is really possession of the ball, but again, that's just my own personal opinion on it. Uh, and I've been watching the Tigers the last couple of uh, weeks. I really haven't. I mean, kind of here and there and whatnot, and kind of watching them on my ESPN app to kind of look at the scores here and whatnot, and reading the paper and on going online here and watching, um, uh, reading some articles. Uh, the Tigers right now are just kind of in. They're in woes right now. I think this is a seven or eight game losing streak that they're on. The, the Tigers, I honestly, well, I know what's wrong with the Tigers. It's just that. I don't know if Gardenhire is doing the right things to get the team to uh, play up to their potential. Now, we all know they, they've had injuries, have had a lot of call-ups lately, and that's probably contributed to their woes. More or less kind of what it is, you have maybe two or three players on the team that are really major league players, and then the rest of them are more or less kind of double-A, triple-A ball players. So you have pretty much a double-A, triple-A team kind of playing against other major league talent. Uh, but today, the Marlins kind of had their roles. The, 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 the separation of the two teams is, was apparent today, uh, scoring five runs, even though the Tigers did come back in the bottom of the ninth to put up two runs there. Spencer Turnable just did not have much going on for him today. His pitching was kind of erratic there a little bit. He kind of settled in, and then it kind of went back to um, kind of on the cusp of being erratic again. Says he went five innings, seven hits, three earned runs. All, all three of them were earned. They had two base on balls and only four strikeouts and a home run. But really, other than that, the Tigers really, Nick Castellanos came home and Jacoby Jones hit a home run. And then other than, other than the other two hits in the ninth inning, that's really the, or the two runs in the ninth inning, that's kind of really all that, all that kind of really did uh, for the Tigers for the offense. I have my own personal opinion on kind of what the Tigers need to do here. The Tigers batting has to get better. They, And when I sit down and I watch the Tigers here, I notice that they're, and Ron Gardenhire is correct here, they're swinging at bad pitches, and then they kind of take pitches of what they should swing at, and it kind of ends up being that they're kind of getting frustrated. They're ending up doing, try to do more than what they're trying, to, just to try to jumpstart the team is more or less what it is, and then it kind of ends up being in a worse situation than what it is. Now, I'm no baseball analyst or professional or anything like that, but I do know that you have to know what the pitcher pitched the last pitch that you looked at. You have to know what the count is in, and then you have to know what pitch is probably coming. That's the three things you have to be in as a batter. And especially tonight, I've I seen more of the same tonight to where on an 0-2, 1-2 and two count, if it's away, the Tigers are swinging at it. Why are, why are they swinging at a pitch that's down and away or in the dirt or is up in the zone and they're taking a, taking a crack at it, at a one and two pitch? You, you know that one of the pitches that's going to be coming to the Tigers is probably going to be way off the plate here. So I don't under, really understand why they can't lay off those bad pitches. I mean, again, I don't face Major League Baseball pitching or, hell, even Minor League Baseball pitching, but to me, being at that level, and I know the kids are young too, I, I know that, and I know that there's probably still learning as they're coming along here in the Tigers organization and being in it, getting the chance of a major league, um, playing in the major leagues. But you have to know those three things to try to be somewhat of a successful hitter. Uh, I think there, really there's only three people that have really got it down. Cabrera, Castellanos, and at times to me is uh, – what is it, Harrison? Harrison seems to know the count and kind of knows what pitches may be coming his way. Although even he has been, and even Nick Castellanos and Cabrera have swung at bad pitches today. They're trying to do stuff that they're trying to trying to get the team to jumpstart, and they really can't do that. They have to really kind of set back, and even if it takes some more time than with not getting right back into the batter's box, I know they have a time limit and all that, but use all the time, look at the count, 
know what the pitcher pitched the last time. Like if it's up and away, or yeah, up and away, probably it's coming low and in. It's probably what's going to happen. Or something that's going to get right on the edge of the plate to try to be called a strike. And I've, I kept saying to myself, it's going to be this. And half the time I was correct. Not, not 100%, about 50% of the time that they were going to go ahead and pitch the ball, I pretty much knew what the next pitch was going to be based on the count and based on what the last pitch was. That's really all you got to do as a hitter. It's not, I'm not saying that being a major league hitter is easy, but really if you kind of take a step back and you just look at those three things, I think you'll be a successful hitter in this league. Now, and the pitching has to get better here too. Now, I know there's been people that have kind of gone down and people brought up. Shane Green did well tonight. I thought Hardy did okay too. He had a he had a walk, but more or less other than that, he pitched well. Jimenez, I thought, pitched well too. It's it's just that the Tigers and oh, and one more thing here too uh, before I get done with the pitching here. I think the pitching, the starting pitching, is probably the worst the worst I've seen it in probably some time for the Tigers here. And you kind of see kind of going a downward trend here uh, as well coming into the last two two or three years here. You've seen that downward trend coming on. And again, on certain situations where the Tigers are, you know, try, if you know what the count is, the Tigers have got to try to generate some runs, whether it's hit and run baseball, if they try to bunt the ball, or, you know, try, try to do something to get your runners that or try to put a man on base even you got you got to do stuff to try or even a hit and run you got to try to do stuff to advance runners around the base pad so you can score runs you can't in this day and age i think we're relying too heavily on the home run ball and even when we do hit home runs they only seem to be solo shots at that so we can't really be relying on home runs to generate runs because we've been in these one two three Inning or in inning games, run games. Sometimes we haven't even scored a run at all. That the A's series was total atrociousness, and I can't remember the the one before that too. I think it might have been Boston. That was a bad series as well. But you know, I I think Garden Hire knows what he has to do. I just don't think he has the confidence in his players really to do those hit and runs, to do the bunting, to do these other things, to tell them to know the count. And maybe even it maybe comes down to Garden Hire and the pit, the in Lloyd McClendon's the hitting coach. Maybe it's time for those guys to really maybe take some tough love in there and try to maybe you know tell them take them off to the side and say, look, why did you swing at that pitch when it was one one and two in the count? Why did you take that? Why didn't you take that pitch? You know, try to get the guys kind of thinking about this sort of stuff while they're actually doing it right in a game. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily be objective to that. I know some people might not be to the point of. They might say Garden Hire or, or Lloyd McClendon or maybe even one of the bench coaches if they take them off to the side and maybe try to talk to them a little bit. Maybe not chew, maybe not chew them out in the dugout, but try, try to do some tough love a little bit and tell them to look. You can't be doing that because at one and two you should be taking pitches unless you think that the guy's going to be coming with a fastball that's coming somewhere in the strike zone, which more times than not in a in a count where the pitcher's ahead, they're not going to throw anything in the that you're going to be able to hit. They're going to throw something into the dirt. They're going to put a. They're going to do a nice curveball that's out of the zone. They're going to take a fastball high, that sort of thing. So again, that's just my own personal opinion on this, guys. I think the Tigers. I want to see another game today like the Marlins here, where they kind of they're fighting back. I want to see more games like this before I can actually say the Tigers are really starting to turn it around. I want to see a, another game like this where it's close. The Tigers are competing. I don't want to see, like Arden High, you don't want to see them kind of trying to swing pitches in the dirt out of the zone or high. You just got to take a, the hitters really have to take a step back. And again, I don't mean to be a broken record, but they have to know the count, know what the last pitch was that you've seen, and then know what the next pitch is going to be coming up here on. It's a guessing game. Jack Moore's talked about it all game, if you guys watched it. He talked about it all game long about, the pitchers are in a guessing game with the hitters, and you got the the hitters have to also play that guessing game, which I think more times than not, well, just like me, if they're thinking that, the Tigers I think would hit much better, and they would probably start turning stuff around and winning more games. So, guys, I know it's a little bit of a frustrating season. I know I'm frustrated. I've been kind of watching them off and on. I figure I'd actually sit down today and watch a Tigers game, 
And that's just kind of what I see. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is there something that you think that I didn't say in this video that you think that might be wrong? If you think Garden Hire sucks, I don't think Garden Hire sucks. I think he's just trying everything that he can think of in his all of his manager experience to try to get the team turned around. But and I don't think Garden Hire sucks. I think he was the right man for the job. But that being said, he needs to find out a way to get these Tigers to do their thing and to and and have these have this team compete because there's no reason for this team to be 18 and 27 and have a nine and 15 at home. That's it's unacceptable, all right? Guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys get more videos just like this one. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and go to bed here. Get ready for work tomorrow. I'll, I got to say, guys, you live by your team and you die by your team. And right now, we're on life support right now. I'm, I'm just going to say that. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care, guys.